So I have two series here that I need to test for convergence. Now number one and I, first off right away I notice I have an alternating series so I want to use the alternating series test. So what I'm going to look at is the limit as k goes to infinity of everything except for the alternating piece. So 1 over square root of k plus 1. This is not a difficult limit, it goes to 0. Because the denominator grows, the numerator does not. This goes to 0. It was an alternating series. This first one is convergent by the alternating series test. So let's go on to the second one. I'm got from 2 to infinity of k, ln of k, and then, or sorry, 1 over k times ln of k. This reminds me of an improper integral we've seen before, so I'm going to try that route. So 2 to infinity of 1 over x, ln of x. Remember with an improper integral, first thing we do is we change it to a limit. So b goes to infinity, 2 to b of 1 over x, ln of x. This is a very nice u substitution problem. I'm going to let u be ln of x, then du. Sorry, I should have a, a, d, a couple dx's in here. dx dx equals 1 over x dx. Now, let's make that substitution really obvious. That's my u. And then this part here, 1 over, or sorry, ln of x is my u, and then this part, 1 over x dx is my du. So what I'm going to end up with is 1 over u du, and I'm going to change my limits so I don't have to change them back. My lower limit's going to be ln of 2, putting because these were x values, so putting them in there. My upper limit's going to be ln of b. We'll see how that changes things later. Now the antiderivative of ln of u or sorry, 1 over u is ln of u, ln of the absolute value of u. So we have the limit as b goes to infinity of, everything's going to be positive, so we don't need to worry about the absolute value, but if you want it in there, it's not going to hurt it. From ln of 2 to ln of b. Almost there. Limit as b goes to infinity of the natural log of the natural log of b minus the natural log of the natural log of 2, which is just a number. Now the only part that depends on b is this part here. So we need to think about what happens as b goes to infinity. As b goes to infinity, natural log of b goes to infinity. And so as the argument of natural log goes to infinity, this whole piece is going to go to infinity. So this improper integral diverges. So our original is divergent by the integral test.